Today, I want men and women to think about this very important idea that I'm gonna bring forth. And a lot of women wouldn't automatically take the kids when they feel like leaving if they meditated or thought on this. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today we're back at it in the trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, it is a common belief that the kids automatically belong to the woman. And even the wicked family court, that B system, you know, has promoted that because the woman is shown favor over the man when it comes to custody of the kids. And there's all kind of stuff, 50-50, legal and uh, physical custody, but it does not compare to what I'm gonna give you today. I did a video talking about the eighth commandment, you shall not steal, and how women have been stealing kids away from their father and then they use you know a, a 80 year old judge to justify them doing it they use old law who's never re really been in favor of man but today i want to give you a concept on how you can uh balance the books righteously you know for years women have been claiming men have touched them or done something to them. And they have been caught lying. And nobody says nothing. But these women don't press criminal charges. Where do they sue men at? They sue men in civil court. Him touching you or the charges you levied against him, that's a criminal matter. But they want the money. It's okay that he touched me criminally. I just want some money. The same way these women steal the kids, hold them for ransom, and then demand some money. Same thing. I want you to think about if men started filing lawsuits against these single mothers who have taken the kids who didn't have, you know, a, a bill of sale, who didn't have written authorization to do such a thing, I want you to think about that. Think about if these men started filing criminal charges against the women that did that. Because I can sue you for anything that I got proof is mine. In the scriptures, you can see that the seed of life is carried in the man. And even when I let a woman carry my seed, that's only until life comes forth. But I've been carrying around this seed since puberty. And let alone, you know, a lot of these women think that they have rights over the kid, but I've had the right longer than you. Your right as a mother to be a mother doesn't start until a man selects you and places his seed in you. You know, not only do I want to sue civilly and criminally, I want to sue for defamation of character because how many of these single mothers have stolen kids unrighteously and have sat up there and 
brainwash the kids talking about, I hope you ain't like your daddy. Your daddy ain't crap. Deformation of character. You know, I want you to ask this woman the same way as if she stole a car, stole a, a, a very expensive possession. I want you to ask, does she have proof that I allowed her to do that? Because I got a birth certificate where that child has my last name, not hers. She forfeited her last name to be with me. And then, you know, when she felt like leaving, she stole the kids also. And I don't have no problem with her leaving, but I'm here today to sue her civilly and criminally. Most people would say, well, you need to take this up in family court. No, because that is an unrighteous, wicked system. In God we trust, my hind part, ain't no fear of y'all in family court, but you gotta go where you can get justice, where righteousness can be done. And a lot of these women steal the kids when these kids are so young and don't understand what's going on so they can program the kids to think that the mother has their best interest at heart and they never understand that the mother actually stole them from their father. And on this matter, I'm requesting civilly for everything that I've explained that for each one of the kids that their mother has stolen, I'm asking two and a half million dollars and that's on the low end. I'm just being generous. I'm asking two and a half million dollars. So if it's two kids, that's five. If it's three kids, that's 7.5 million. Because I never authorized this woman and she don't even have proof from me, the one who gave her my seed to do this. Think about how many women would be so quick to leave and pack the kids up and move cross country and then allow all these other men to be around my kids. You not only did you steal my possession, but then you allowed everybody else to drive it. Let everybody else enjoy it. I tell you, this is truly some wickedness and a lot of these single mothers that have done this, they need to think about it because they didn't have scriptural, lawful, biblical, lawful justification in taking these kids. You know, and when you think about the law of the family court and how wicked it is, and when you look at the statistics behind single motherhood, all of these kids, a lot of these kids, over 70% end up in jail, dropping out, being teenage fathers, teenage mothers. You know, when you think about child neglect, child abuse, single mothers are the perpetrators of this. You mean to tell me you're gonna steal my seed without my permission and then hold them for ransom and ask for money? And I want you to think as a man, if you are up to date on your child support and you have kept impeccable records to prove that you're not this deadbeat that they claim. I want you to think about how this would resonate in a woman's mind when she says, I'm unhappy or I'm leaving you because of irreconcilable differences. This is 70 to 80% of women that are filing for these divorces. Think about how many of them automatically think the kids are theirs. 90% if these women are college educated. The college educated women take it even a step further. Not only am I leaving you out of my feelings and emotions because we have irreconcilable differences or you don't make enough or you're not doing what I want, but they not only take the kids from you and use an unlawful worldly law to do it, but they put all their fees on you. So today here, your honor, I am the one that has post-dramatic stress. I am the one who has to sit by and watch my kids be corrupted. Go look at the statistics of single motherhood. This is property 
that has been stolen. I gave my seed to her so she could carry it. I didn't give her permission to take it across country. So because of that, I'm suing for two and a half million dollars per child. And not only that, not only have I been up to date on my child support and gone above and beyond and still are required to do more for my child outside of these birthdays and holidays, but not only have I been paying her this money and allowing her to misuse and uneffectively use the money that I've been sending because here she stands today in this courtroom as an innocent mother, a victim, but she'd rather use money on fake eyelashes, face paint, butt injections, fake breasts. The most high y'all has gave us everything that they hold near and dear to their heart. The most high y'all gave her a full head of hair, but out of her own ignorance, she cuts it off every time she feels something. When the scripture says a woman's hair is her glory, a woman with long hair, that's her covering. But she'd rather sit up with all and buy this most expensive stuff, the most expensive makeup, the most expensive eyelashes, the most expensive nails, all of this nonsense. And my kids are having to grow up learning corruption, having their hard drive corrupted. Oh yeah, today I'm here to sue for two and a half million and I'm here to press criminal charges. The only way that I will drop any of these charges, if my kids are rightfully returned, because if you ask this woman today, did this man who temporarily for nine months gave you his seed to carry and made you a mother, which is one of the highest calling of a woman, every woman ain't gonna experience motherhood. Why? A lot of them can't even bear children. But this man imparted his seed on you. And you ran off in the middle of the night just because you was unhappy. But you didn't even try to sanctify him with your conduct like scripture says. So yeah, two and a half million dollars is not a lot. Not a lot. Can you prove that he gave you consent or authorization to do it. That's the way they handle everything else. A lot of these women not only would have criminal records for stealing, and it needs to be a felony, stealing kids. If I go take a kid from another country or just go grab somebody, kid, that's a felony charge. But these women have been doing it. They've been moving under the cover of a wicked family court system. You know, somebody comes in your house and steals something that you got paperwork on, that's gonna be some charges. Men, you got paperwork. You got that law of the scripture. You got that birth certificate that women always want you to sign. Sign that birth certificate. The nurse come up in there, let me get you to sign this real quick. Oh yeah, you got proof. But think about what I'm saying and think about how if this trend were to start picking up, how many women would, would humble themselves and say, you know what? I realize that I'm huffing and puffing over nonsense. It's nothing more than my feelings and emotions, but they need to die in order for me to serve the most high yacht. Think about all these, think about all these single mothers who Kevin Samuels used to entertain and sit up and talk to that didn't understand basic logic and reasoning. And they talking about it's hard out here. Didn't have to be hard. You chose for it to be hard when you made yourself a criminal. Men out here, I advise you, be cautious of the single mother that has stolen the kids from their father. You need to know how she left. Now if she's a single mother because these men died or they've done something that's, you know, justifiable in scripture for, you know, her to remove herself for her own life 
in the kid's life, then that's that's another thing. Because you got some, you know, some mentally ill and spiritually wicked men out here. I acknowledge that. But you need to pay a close attention to, to the woman who has stolen kids away from a man without consent and chances are you might be wanting to lay down to him because you only thinking about what's in between her legs. Think about the single mother who has stolen multiple kids from multiple men. That's a single mother that has multiple baby daddies and they always never fails blame the man. He wasn't no good. Hmm. How come you didn't realize that until he gave you something? You didn't leave before you got the possession. You doggone left after you got it. Think about that. Criminal act. It's a lot of felons walking around here, smiling, free as can be. Thou shalt not murder. It's a lot of them that got all these kids and know that they ain't right. And then when a man come along and he don't have nothing to offer him, not only, you know, stealing the kids is not good enough, but I don't even want the baby no more. I'm just gonna kill it. A lot of these women don't even think about this. I take that thing to the next level. Closer to God Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.